All right, guys, and so let's get straight into it. So how I came to this page on Google Flights is I came to the Explorer tab up here, and then I also put in one way if you want the round trip and one way, but for us, because we want to do this for us uh, more than us a month, two months, three months or more, we are going to do only one way. And so this is set to one person. So if it's two people, then probably times this by, by two. And also what I did was, first of all, I put it for uh, New York. And so that covers the three airports, JFK, it covers LaGuardia and it covers the uh, so New Jersey airport as well. And then after we do this, then we will check out the Los Angeles, which would be even cheaper. But this is for people that are on the East Coast of the States. And also we will go into people that are in the West Coast in the States. And then after that, we will go to uh, so expats and digital nomads and retirees that are already in Asia. And then we will compare uh, so Bangkok and Malaysia flying from those two airports to the Philippines and so that this will give you a good overall idea of what you will spend for your flight and then from there we will talk about how to get a cheaper deal on your flights including so travel points and things like that that's also ways to um yeah to your prices on your nice flight price so yeah let's get into it so as I told you we have the settings on the export tab here then we have uh, so New York to the Philippines and one way and then also for one person and then also in the dates area field i put in flexible uh, so flexible dates and then i put uh, as so a trip in the next six months and so we find the best prices for each month and then from there we uh, so dive deeper into finding the best prices to fly to the philippines as uh, so depending on the month of the year so let's do that so currently in the next six months, the best price right now to fly to fly from uh, so New York to the Philippines is right now three hundred and and fifty nine, which is a great deal, guys. This is a good deal, and so of course, like you, you can also get like a plane flight in the Philippines, a, a domestic flight from here to like Cebu, as uh, so a Davao city, and then you get to these these other uh, spawns and then you got a plane to Cebu after so step is to take Singapore Airlines which will cost you around $500 depending on the month yeah just keep that in mind but that's one way all right so so let's see if we can get a better deal on this so let's click this click view flights so this is for uh so March 14th all right, and we see here it stops in uh, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and yes, I know Saudi Arabia gets a lot of flack, but actually Saudi Arabia is a really nice place as well. So it stops in uh, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, which is a beautiful place on on the coast of Saudi Arabia. It's really nice. All right, so uh, so now this travel area of so this is my travel ext extension I have. This is a very good uh, also travel extension called as a travel arrow, and it compares the trips for that date. So let's see if we can get a better deal than three fifty nine. So it's redirecting out to Skyscanner, which is one of my favorite ones, favorite options other than Google Flights. So already we got a cheaper flight, guys. Already by like I think it's around fifty dollars already off. So let's see if we can get a better price. And they apply the filters. All right. So currently, the best deal is $309 from JFK Airport all the way to Manila. <laughs> that's mind-blowing, guys. And so that's $309 for one way. That's pretty good. Some flights in the States, it costs you from uh, so New York to California for like $200. So that's a really good price to go all that way, guys. But of course, you have to have a stop in Jeddah. Saudi Arabia, which is 45 hours. So that's the trade-off that you have to think about. You know, it's a 45 hour flight. That's the trade-off, but it's off by two hundred dollars. So so if you don't take the if you don't take the if you don't take the 
Saudi Arabia flight, then you can expect the flight to be around $500 for like Singapore Airlines or China Airlines and things like that. So just keep that in mind. If you want to do what I showed you and get 300 and uh, get the flight for 300 and uh, 300 dollars, then you'll have to take the trade off of the 45 hour flight. So just keep that in mind. But the thing is, it's going to be cheaper if you fly from LA. So let's check out flying from LA. So this, uh, so flying from LA, so from flying from LA through Singapore Airlines, it uh, so looks like it takes 22 to 24 hours, but the price for that is 374 to Cebu, Philippines, and also $450 to Manila as well. So let's check out both of these and see if we can get a better deal on this. All right, guys, so I just checked. And so, all right, guys, and so I just checked. So uh, this is the best price for Cebu for April 17th. I checked on around 10, uh, 10 other sites. So 374. And also, guys, this includes checked baggage as well, which is a great deal. So flying from LA all the way to Cebu, Philippines, including the check baggage is $374. And then also the best price that I've seen on this one is this $430, which also includes baggage from LA all the way to Manila, which is a great deal, guys. So that's around $20 off right there from the technique I, sh I showed you guys. And so that's one way to Philippines for uh, four thirty and also three seventy five. That's a great deal. Now for people that are also uh, like me and already in Asia, this is where it gets beautiful and it gets incredible, guys. All right. So um, just think about this, okay? Because this, it, you also have to add on baggage cost. Uh, so twenty dollars to twenty five dollars per baggage, right? Per checked baggage. So, so probably around $85 to fly from Bangkok, Malaysia, Jakarta to Manila, right? So just keep that in mind. So, so yeah, it costs the best price flying from uh, Bangkok, Thailand and Malaysia in the next six months is $65. And also that's the same price to Cebu, Philippines as well, which is a great deal, guys. And so if you are already in Asia and you work online, you're a digital nomad or expat, retiree. It's 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 really cheap to get around. See, uh, for Bangkok, you have a flight over here, flight over here, flight over here for really cheap. So just keep that in mind, guys. Yeah, the prices is, is is a lot better when you are in Asia already. All right, guys. And so on Airbnb, we're going to the housing and how to find apartments in the Philippines. So first, we uh, so start off on Airbnb, and then also we will check out the local rental websites that the Filipinos use that the foreigners don't know, right? And so that's what we are going to do now. So first, I'm going to show you how I got to this page. I get asked this all the time, guys. This is crazy. So I get asked so much, Austin, how do you find these apartments on Airbnb and also the local rental websites? Well, I'm going to show you guys this now. I've had hundreds of people ask me this. Like, it's kind of crazy. All right. So first of all, let's go to Airbnb monthly rentals. You have to type this in exactly, okay? Or it's going to give you the daily and weekly and things like that. So uh, but just keep that in mind. Sometimes it's on the first result, and in this case, it's not. It's right here. It always says this, okay? So Airbnb stays monthly, but also in the title, it says find awesome monthly rentals, furniture apartments, extended stays. And so this is it. Perfect for digital nomads. And so, that, all right. So, all right. And so now it, it should say right here. If it's not, then go back to what I showed you before and how to get there. So, all right, so now go in here. In this box, Philippines, the Philippines. Wow. All right, so click this, type in Philippines because first we're talking about the overall country first. And then in each video, I will us talk about each city in each awesome place, awesome place, awesome place, awesome place to live in, like Sergio, Cebu, Asa Davao City, Manila, and Asa El 
Quran, Palawan, and all of those, I, I will talk about those as well. So, so first, let's, uh, let's click this. Uh, so Philippines overall, the whole country. Now, I uh, said so don't put in anything in these dates, okay? So, because uh, first we're going to opt. Uh, after we do this, then we uh, we will optimize everything, okay? So let's click search. So these are all absurd are all just yeah the wrong prices which we are going to get into right now so people will be like oh well i like this oh i just book it you know but they don't think about optimizing everything to getting a place like this for like four hundred dollars instead instead of two thousand dollars all right so what we are going to do now is we're going to go up here we uh first what we are going to do is we're going to go up here okay then uh we are going to hit flexible and we are going to hit month uh and it should say, I so stay for a month. And so now we are going to go down here to each month and we are going to click each month, all the month, every month. We're going to click them all. Now we have that. Now click search. So, all right. Uh, so now once we did this up here, now we go to filters. And now this is where we optimize everything. And so, of course, yeah, uh, we have three different types. Uh, so any type, which will have uh, so both room and entire home. Uh, so room would be good if you want to save even more money. But obviously, if you're uh, so a digital nomad and also want to cook your own food and also also want your own privacy, we are going to go with entire home. So all right. So uh, so now we did that. Now we are going to do the maximum of 500. 500. All right. So the minimum. Uh, so when that's the maximum of 500 okay now from there i said don't uh so mess with anything here because we just put the entire home which means we get the entire place anyway which will also be a studio one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom and uh, some more as well included so all right so now this section of course we are going to need wi-fi and also what we are going to do as well is we are going to ask the uh, the Airbnb host, hey, is this Wi-Fi fast? Is it stable? What is the speed? Can you send me the speed of this Wi-Fi? And, and so this is going to save you so much time. Uh, it's going to allow you to work online without any issues. And then, all right, so, uh, so now, all right, so now we get air conditioning because, of course, it's hot in the Philippines. We're definitely going to need air conditioning. Now, next, we're also going to hit kitchen so that we can cook our own meals and save even more money and be on budget even better as well. So Wi-Fi, air conditioning, and kitchen. I usually put in a gym and a pool as well. So see what happens when we do that. A gym and a pool. And you see how it went down from 1,000 plus to 276 that has all of these what we want, all right? So first, we're not going to do that right now. Um, I just want to show you what you can get, you know, overall in, in the whole country of the Philippines. So only click on uh, so Wi-Fi kitchen and air and air conditioning right now. But uh, so if you absolutely want the gym and the pool, which I do as well, and also beachfront, then you can do that as well. OK, now. All right. So let's click show a thousand plus homes. All right. So now we have uh, some better options and it's a lot cheaper. All right, so uh, we see here in Cebu City, this place has a ton of reviews as well, which means that it's legit. And so it's $312 per month as well. So $312 per month, that's really good for a place like this. So let's check it out. Yeah, it's got the gym in there too as well. So without us even putting in a gym, we already get gyms because uh, so a bunch of these places that are also like this, they have gyms. And they have a pool for us three hundred and twelve dollars per month. So just think about that, guys. All right. So here's the bed over here. I guess that's like a couch thing. That's a couch bed as well. Oh, it's a three beds. Okay. Now, all right. It's got a fridge and uh, it's got a stove cooker thing. Uh, so stove cooker. It's got a microwave. All right. So here, your induction stove as well, and it's got a rice cooker. This is the bathroom. But anyways, where is the bed? It's got a gym. But anyway, the bed was in here as well. All right. But yeah, $312, $447, $476, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
93, Austin 93, 400, 484, 452. Yeah, a bunch of these really nice places are in the 400 and 300 range. But this is Airbnb. So it's going to be a lot more expensive than if you got these places on contract, which would probably be around $200 per month. All right. So Cebu as well, 402. I really also love Cebu. It's a great place. And you've got a bunch of islands to go to from Cebu as well. So just keep that in mind. All right. So from here, all right. So what if we want to see everything under $400? We still have 1,000 plus homes at $400 range. So that's the thing. The Philippines is incredible value. And so these are all apartments under $400 in the $300 range. So $325 here. It's a crazy place. $355, $288, $288. 344, 3, Austin 95. This is also a local place on the farm. 258. All right, so let's try this. Let's go everything below 300. Everything below 300. These will be in the $200 range. All right, so $277 per month right here. It's got the basics that you need and stuff like that. $277 per month. All right, 280, 200 range. All right, cool. Let's see if we can go even smaller. Let's go to under 200. All right, so uh, so 188, uh, 187, but they don't have any review, so no thanks. So let's do 250 as a maximum, 12. So these places are under $250, but all right, so that's what you can expect. Now, to dive even deeper, now we go to the local rental websites, which would be cheaper, and what we've seen uh, with the Cebu, the crazy pools and things like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. What we've seen with the crazy pools like this. Now we can see that we can get it on contract for like $150 to like $300 per month, guys. And so, you know, just keep that in mind. We can do that now. So uh, what I did uh, to find this, but... Since I've been to the Philippines and I know Philippines and all, all that kind of stuff. So this is how you, you can find these places, right? You did this. The local websites in the Philippines for housing and apartments. And so this one's really good. It also gives you the eight uh, the best ones as well. Now, I, I uh, put this up here as well. This is called uh, some myproperty.ph. This is one of them. And you go here as uh, a type in uh, so rent. And then apartments for, uh, for rent, condos for rent, houses for rent. I did apartments for rent for you guys. All right. So uh, 18000 This is about $320. Okay. So $1 is equal to, to uh, 55 PHP, which is Filipino peso. All right. So if this was $55,000 uh, with the P, it, it would be $1,000. Okay. So this is $320. $315. Here we go. <laughs> what I told you guys, right? This one is $100. This apartment is $100. And so you, you see, if you went the local route and with the local, local websites, you can do this for a lot cheaper than Airbnb. But of course, so it requires a six month uh, so lease. So if you want to do this, right? then if you want to do this, then you have to sign a lease for six months to get a uh, $100 a month place. That's mind blowing. <laughs> All right. So here uh, again, 5,500, this place, two bedroom townhouse, you know, 25,000, which $480. This one, it's about 300 or 280 as well. So, you know, what I told you, or I said, do a dorm, I guess, you know, that's about $70 if you did this. So it's up to you guys. But yeah, you can do it easily under $300. All right. So we did this site. Now let's go to the Lamudi, which is a very popular site as well. So again, it's got the same apartments on here as well. It's 953 apartments for rent in the Philippines. But this is apartments. Remember, we can go houses, condos, and so these other ones as well. And yeah, there's probably around 3,000-ish 
under us of 40k which is around 700 dollars so you have a lot to pick from so this place 120 dollars as well so yeah just keep this in mind you have so many different avenues and ways to lower your prices in the philippines all right so here this is dot property uh so dot property is also in thailand as well you can find cheap prices in thailand on uh as a dot property Thailand. All right, so this place right here, two bedroom condo and uh, some Metro Manila as right in the center, $500, 453, 60. So let's see, 270, this is a nice neighborhood, 324. See, so this page is only one of 1,250 results and there's like 25 results on each page. So you can, uh, also narrow this down even further if you want. You know, this is uh, to that. Let's do a uh, max price of $500 and see. Oh yeah, yeah, it's 58,000 results found for under $1,000. Here it's uh, 21,000 results found from uh, so $500 and under. So you have so many opportunities, so many like apartments to pick from. But of course you should... Uh, as I vent these real estate agents and also the owners and make sure that you don't get scammed. All right, so this one, uh, it's a verified seller, $180 a month for a four bedroom house. What? That's crazy. All right, so $180 for a four bedroom house, a verified seller. Check and just make sure you can call these people, but uh, it's probably on WhatsApp as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, 180 again, 270 again. So because this has so many results, let's go down to, well, okay, that's the max we can do. Well, let's do this. So low is high, low, $36 a month. All right, so um, yeah, you can also get apartments in the Philippines. This is common us awesome knowledge that is from $50 to $100. But let's be real, guys. It's hard to find these even though they're there. And you know, there's a lot of trade-offs as well. This is a Vietnam seller. Uh, they're not verified, so could be a scam. DEI properties, apartment for rent. This is in Vietnamese, so. All right, so verified seller could be something. Uh, so still, you, you should also uh, make sure. $45 a month, but let's be real. To, to keep away the scams and all that kind of stuff, you definitely want to keep it above $100 a month to $200 a month to, cause these prices probably have some trade-offs. So just keep that in mind guys. So tip match, this is another one as well. So you can put in these filters. I'm also looking to rent apartment or townhouse and wherever you would think about. And also rent pad, which is very good as well. Uh, this is a great site too. And let's do, let's do, 20,000 and see what we get. Uh, so 15,000, 18,000, 300 ish dollars up here. Um, yeah. So this is another site, 320. Uh, so long term rentals. Of course, you, you can do different types of rentals here. You, you can come to short, short term rentals and see what you get there as well. But here you, you get 320 all under 20,000. Uh, and so this is another one called uh, Carousel. It's kind of like the it's a Craigslist. Um, yeah, but it, it includes everything that you need. Um, here it shows 5,000 that reach our criteria, all below 40,000, which is around seven. So let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do us uh, a maximum of uh, 20,000, which is about 400-ish dollars. Let's see here. So around 300 here as well. Um, let's see, 400 studio. Yeah, and so 300, 400-ish. So there you go, guys. So that for under so $400, a thousand plus uh, so listings for you to uh, for you guys to come check this out on, on Carousel. All right, so that's for housing. Of course, uh, so double check and I'll, uh, so double check yeah, just make sure you guys don't get scammed. All right, guys, and now we on. All right, guys, and so, uh, so now we are on the food section, and uh, we're gonna talk about supermarkets, how to try to lower your uh, some monthly food bill. 
<laughs> food costs, as a grocery cost, how to keep your uh, as a food costs around one hundred and fifty to around two hundred and fifty dollars per month. All right, so of course you you can eat the street food for really cheap for a couple of dollars, uh, as so a dollar all all the way up to like five dollars or ten dollars to eat the street food. Um, and every day, if you're one person, you can definitely eat on like five dollars to around seven dollars per day if you eat the street food. Um, but also if you want to cook your own food, uh, you can go to the supermarkets, the local markets, the fruit markets, and you can um, also stock up and to get your big old five kg bags of rice, 10 kg bags of rice, whole bunch of meats and whole bunch of fish, you know what I mean? And keep your, so keep your expenses by cooking and getting your groceries and stuff like that for around uh, so $150 per month to also $250 per month. But if if you want to also include, you know, so both doing that and also going out and going to eating at the nice places, you can also spend the tourist prices as well. So just keep that in mind. And it, it could definitely jump up to around $400 plus per month on food. So the key is to eat the local food and also get your groceries at the at the supermarkets as well and all local markets uh, as to get your fruit from them as well uh, all all the things you need at the supermarkets your meat rice all, all the kind of stuff that you can eat every day and keep your cost down from 150 to around 250 dollars per month and so if you do that you'll be in the clear and so think about if you did get that 100 dollar apartment 200 dollar apartment and so now you you eat all expenses on food and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and so also now you are either at $350 or $450 per month for your rent and food costs. All right, guys. And so just keep that in mind. And a popular supermarket is uh, so Robinson's and SM Supermarket as well. And also just research, guys, and find all the supermarkets and your locations such as Cebu, such as Surajao, such as El Quran and also Davao City and all these other all these other cities in the Philippines and small towns and things like that. Find the local supermarkets, go there and shop there. And you will save so much money that way, guys. All right. Now these are what the supermarkets look like in the Philippines. Uh so hy hypermarkets, SM as I told you, and so these are all the supermarkets in the philippines and so yeah it's basically all the things you have back home and it's a lot cheaper and so as long as you keep your prices down and your grocery shop for what you actually need, need instead of the tourist prices every day eating at the tourist restaurants 10 20 dollars per day so this is how you will keep your cost down 150 to around 250 dollars per month guys okay just keep that in mind all right, now the transport. All right, in Manila, they have a great uh, public transport of uh, some trains, subways, and things like that. Also, you can rent your scooter per month, you know, for around $100 per month to also $150 per month. So just keep that in mind and, or buy your scooter outright, you know, and so that way, if you're there in the Philippines, for, for six months or a year or uh, two years, 10 years, think about buying a scooter in full. You know, and so that'll cut down on the cost as well, and so that you don't have to pay your scooter rental every single month. So that all you, you will have to worry is gas in your scooter, and you know, sometimes fixing it up if it has to break it down and things like that. So just keep that in mind. If you don't so buy it, then expect the prices for your scooter per month to be around a hundred dollars per month. Okay. And also in the Philippines, they have the public transport, such as the trains, such as the famous jeepneys and trikes, and of course, renting your scooter and all that kind of stuff. And transport's really cheap, guys. And so just don't worry about it. Um, you can spend 100 to $150 per month on all your transportation needs, guys. That's what we personally spend as well, as from 100 to $200 per month for all the transport, including uh, so renting the some motorbike, 
or scooter per month, taking sometimes the train, taking sometimes the jeepneys, taking sometimes the trikes, you know, so that's what we spent per month. But of course, in Sergio, they don't have the trains and things like that. So just keep that in mind. You'll definitely have to rent a, uh, a, a motorcycle in Sergio or like in uh, these different islands like Haran and guys. Just keep that in mind or Secajor. These other islands, you will definitely have to have a scooter. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, there's places to rent the bikes, to buy the bikes and things like that. So there you go, guys. So it's public transport, trains, some motorbikes, jeepneys, trikes. And uh, so try to research in depth about all the transportation methods and how much they cost and things like that to keep your budget low. And so these are the jeepneys. This, uh, yeah, yeah, they have buses as well. Yeah, these things are really cool. <laughs> these jeepneys. Yeah, they have trains and stuff like that to get through to get through the Philippines. But they pack though during uh, a rush hour. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. And scooters, I'm talking about scooters like this. You know, when I'm thinking, uh, so talking about scooters, I'm talking about this. You know, in, in America. They think uh, uh, the scooters are one of those like things we had as a kid, but no, it's one of these things. So just remember, it's a motorbike or a scooter. But yeah, these things right here, there you go. America, they think when I talk about scooters, it's something like this, but no, it's like this. All right, and as I told you, is one dollar is equal to fifty-five uh, so Filipino peso. Now, guys, this is where we talk about data and Wi-Fi, how to get data in the Philippines, which. I get asked so many times, guys, Austin, how do I find data? How do I find, how do I actually get data on my phone? It's easy. They have their own stuff. Um, so this is unlimited data. Um, you can get this for 30 days. It's unlimited data. This is from Smart. There's uh, so two popular um, uh, data service plans. It's called Smart and also Globe. These two are the biggest uh, all throughout the Philippines. So here you can get this. It's about $14 for this for 30 days each month. $14 for this. You know, you, you can also get this. It's about $18 for this as well. So this is what I get or this as well. Um, and also, guys, of course, sometimes you you want to get the calls, text, data, that. And so you can do this as well. Uh, so get um, uh, get a Filipino phone number, and you can have this sixty gig uh, so gigabytes. All right, yeah. I uh, get the calls, texts, and also the Filipino phone number, which is also useful. But honestly, you don't have to get that. You can just get the data and just call and text through uh, uh, so Google Voice. All right, or you can call and text through uh, so WhatsApp, which is very popular in Asia. And also, you, you can call and text your family on uh, so Facebook Messenger. And so, you can just have data to do all of that, right? And, and plus, uh, your Wi-Fi when you, you get home to talk, uh, with, so talk to your family, your friends, and things like that. So, you don't really have to have the phone number and uh, text and talk data plan. But e even though it's really good to also have the Filipino phone number as well. But also, guys, remember this. Your phone, be on, your phone also has to be un unlocked. Your, your phone also has to be unlocked as well. Your phone also has to be unlocked as well. Just remember that, guys. Or your SIM card, your data plan in the Philippines will not work and it will not install to your phone. So just remember that. Your phone, before you leave America, before you leave wherever you come from, you, you should have your uh, phone paid off you should have your phone paid off and then from there get your phone un unlocked and then from there you can get the uh, so filipino data plan which i'm talking about here so just remember that all right so the next one is called globe and so you can also get this one which is around eight dollars for this for 25 gigabytes for 15 days but of course there is better data plans as well and also a different option is also this as well. So another option is this as well. 
from Air Allo. You can also install this. Uh, so this is a eSIM. Uh, it's called Air Allo. It's very popular among like digital nomads and things like that. And so it only costs thirty-two dollars. But from what I showed you, and also you, your phone definitely has to be on. You have um, and also this is a lot, is a lot more than the, that the Filipinos give. This is only. $14 for this for a lot more data. <laughs> so it's a lot more data, right? And so this is kind of, of a ripoff. And so I, I would go the local way instead of doing this. All right. So yeah, guys, this is basically how you will be able to live in the Philippines for under $1,000 per month. This is a practical guide. And I shown you busy housing, the rent, all the local websites. I showed you the transportation. I showed you the food. This I uh, I showed you the supermarkets. I showed you all the techniques. I talked about the techniques to keep your food costs down. And so from here, and then I talked about the transport, the different transportation options. I talked about the data plans and things like that, which is very popular. And so yeah, yeah, guys. And so thanks so much for watching, guys. And also, I wrote way more in depth over here. This is the article that I did about the cost of living in the Philippines. I also did this for each city in uh, the popular islands in the Philippines, including Sarja, Borike, El, El Nido, Quran, Manila, Cebu, Davao City. And so I go into a lot more in depth here. And in this video, I also showed you how you can live in the Philippines for $605 a month or also less as well. If you got that $100 apartment that I showed you earlier, you, you can do it for a lot cheaper than this. Or if you want to ball out and have, I don't know, 10 family members, then uh, this is $2,000 a month as well on the luxury budget. Just keep that in mind. Uh, in this article, I, I talked about everything, guys. And I also talked about other videos that you you should watch that gives even more. I included, I think, uh, 10 videos about like us uh, different people's experiences and the cost of living as uh, so they also incurred at, uh, they also did as well. So in this article, uh, so it gives you everything that you should know, including this video that I'm doing now to help you to achieve your dreams, uh, so move to the Philippines, enjoy your life there, guys. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And so, uh, so now if you've been dreaming, hey, I want to go to the Philippines to live. Now, now you know that, guys, it's possible. And you can do it for under $1,000, even under $600 as well. So just keep that in mind, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the comment section. And uh, let's talk in the comments. I'm there in the comments. Ask me any question that you have. Let's talk in the comments, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will do a more in-depth video as well in the future when I'm back in the Philippines. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Watch the next video about in how to live in Sergio, Philippines as well. And also Manila and all the other beautiful places in the Philippines. It, uh, they will be also linked up here and also in the description. Also in the description of the local rental places and also the article that I did that you should check out that includes all these other people's experiences of how they, and how they also live in the Philippines for under $1,000 per month, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Watch the video up here and I will see you in the comments down below.